Ross, thanks for joining us. So after that ideal start, are you disappointed to only be going home with one point? Um, to a degree. Um, fantastic start. Delighted for Royal again. Um, it's great when you make a change and and, uh, and you get a goal so early. Um, so, yes, very disappointed at the fact that we never built on that good start. thought we had moments and a few little bits and pieces here and there, but I didn't think we did enough to impose ourselves on the game. Um, it's something that we've got to get better at. But I think uh, in the scheme of things and the way that we look at the result and the way that the game panned out after that and the fact that we didn't impose ourselves well enough to come away from it with a point, I suppose you would have uh, taken that on the road today with, in our current situation. Held on for 81 minutes, but it was a case of holding on in that second half. Yeah, um, and I think from my perspective, we have to look at that as a positive. I said to the boys... Uh, I can't remember if I said it to you after the game at Colchester, against Colchester the other day that I didn't think we did the nitty gritty side of the game well enough. So if I'm looking for progression, if I'm looking for improvement from our previous performance, then I have to uh, pat the boys on the back to, for today and, and understand that although we didn't look like a major threat going forward, we did show that side of the game that I was disappointed with in our previous fixture. So. Um, you have to sort of take, I suppose, the positives and negatives from it, which is which is what we do in every game. Positives, I'd imagine, their performance, particularly of Dan Happy and uh, Jamie Turley. Yeah, I thought um, we knew what we were going to get when you come here. We know we know the makeup of the team. We know the style of play that, that, that obviously the most teams throw at us. But we knew what we were going to get here today, um, and and we was, it was important that the back. Two, three, four, all stood up to be counted. I think Sarge was put under an, you know, under pressure a lot, and he was having to come for punches. Probably didn't make the the usual three or four Sarge saves that he that he's made in in previous appearances. But I think they all uh, today stood up to the challenge that Newport threw at us. Um, obviously, it's not to the level that we quite wanted to get over the line with the three points, but in order to to come out of it with something. But ahead of them in midfield, was that one in the second half by the home side? Yes, I think so. Um, I think. We know that those three boys have got good engines. We know that they they uh, fill up the middle of the pitch, and it's an important area for us. Um, but I think with the numbers that they threw, the, the the I don't know what shape they were playing towards the end, but it was an area of the pitch that they really overloaded, and, and the lads found it tough. But what I would say is they tracked their men and they tried to they tried to tried to battle through and and and, and showed those those battling qualities rather than what you know sometimes we would hope in terms of them imposing themselves on the game with the ball. Wasn't a great pitch. What about the ref? It's, um, the pitch wasn't great, but I think our pitch isn't great at the moment, Dave. And I don't imagine there's too many unless you're spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on it that are surviving this weather. So we knew it was going to be a, you know, a little bit near the mark, but uh, that was something that we expected. And, and the unfortunate thing is I'm starting to expect the level of refereeing uh, performances that we're getting at the moment. It, it was below par. There was a couple of things that happened in the first half right in front of the bench that for whatever reason they miss and then the, the the fouls that aren't given and are given and it's not just for us it's it's for both teams it's really disappointing turnaround is going to be quick what about the bruises because that was a bruising encounter yeah it was a bruising encounter i've just walked out of there sort of checking on the ones that i might have had a few little concerns about i think other than sort of bangs and bruises there's nothing glaring at me at the moment we've suffered a lot of illness in the last three or four days there's been a number of us including myself that have, that have um, woke up feeling like i had the plague this morning um so we're all sort of coming out of that. Hopefully we've seen the worst of it and I'm, I'm the last one on the list to, to get it. So um, we're hoping that, that you know, that's something that we can bounce back from as well. So a little bit of rest and, and recovery needed before we get prepared to go, obviously, after the New Year's celebrations to Walsall. And talking about Walsall, Connor Wilkinson, Louis Dennis, maybe Joe Widdison too early? Uh, I think Joe Widdison, probably. Uh, it's been a real difficult one with Joe. He, he went through a scan, uh, where was the days now, uh, in, within the last couple of days. Um, and that reassured us that the injury wasn't getting any worse, which is obviously something we were concerned about because we expected to see him return quite quickly. Connor's uh, trained at, back at the training ground uh, the last couple of days. Uh, and Louis was here with us today. So I'm expecting Lou to start pushing for a place in the, in the squad and the team over the next few few days. Um, but there's obviously a little bit of a list there in terms of boys that we're having to get through it. I'd say, and, and then added to that one or, one or two that are, that are nursing that illness that we've carried through us today. Looking forward with the new year and the new decade, where do you see your position, Ross? Um, it, it doesn't overly change too often for me, Dave. I think, um, you know, I... I enjoy what I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the way that I'm working with the group, and and I feel that, albeit we're not always getting the, the the points that I would like us to get, and everybody else would like us to get. I think we are showing signs of improvement. I think we're showing signs of 
um, get into grips with the level a little bit more when we're not playing so well that we stay in games and we give ourselves an opportunity. So it's something that uh, I'm, I'm enjoying at the moment. But like I think I've said to you before, for me, I, I come in, I do what I'm paid to do and what I'm asked to do. Um, and until that changes either way or for any, you know, for the better or for the worse, it's, a, it's something that I'll always continue to strive to do the best for. Earlier in the season, you made it clear that you didn't want them to be the number one in the long term. Has that changed? I don't think it's changed in terms of um, I, I was adamant that I never ever wanted to, to, to do it and experience it and there was a lot of lot that went before Dave me and, me and you probably shared a tear or two at the end of, of, of a number of games because of the emotion that was attached to being in the role that I was in um, the man that I was having having to follow I think in the recent times I've started to get my head around that little bit more I think it's it's like anything isn't it if you go to work every day and you do something in particular that's out of the ordinary you don't feel particularly comfortable with it in the outset um, but coming in and working with this group every day they make it a lot easier for me um, in terms of the type of lads that I've got here but it's something that I've become I have become a little bit more comfortable with is probably you know how I started and, and then how I would finish that sentence. Justin Edinburgh of course was manager of both clubs and it was emotional both at half time but particularly before the game. Yeah obviously I never got to experience the bit, bit at half time uh, which is a shame to, to a degree but um, from a selfish perspective these days hurt me to be honest the, the, the minutes of applause when we got off the coach no one was quite sure if we were doing one or, or not and it was the 50th minute thing that was mentioned so part of me was quite relieved but the, uh, the minute silences the minute applause before games always really uh, really hurt and um, it's something that obviously when I say drags it back up it's not ever something that we forget about it's not ever something that we don't we don't remember him every day but these, these are uh, you know, opportunities to remember his life um, are obviously you know, they bring up those feelings again. What I would say and what I would add is, again, obviously never witnessed too much of it myself, but I went over to see Kerry, Sydney, and Charlie and their their close friends and family before the game, and it's fantastic what what Newport have done uh, to to recognise and remember Justin. And and although I never experienced any of that with him or or, or while he was amongst it, uh, I think the uh, the applaud and the, and the recognition is fully deserved on his part too. The family have been amazing, and uh, Charlie Edinburgh at half time spoke very well. Oh, that doesn't surprise me any, in any way, shape, or form. I think um, all three of them carry themselves wonderfully, but I think with Charlie at times having to be the spokesperson, the forefront of everything that the JE3 is all about, but more importantly about what his family is all about, he's, um, he has not only stepped up to the plate incredibly, but I think what he's also done as well is he's filled his dad's shoes. Um, I've, I'll use that term very lightly because I don't think anybody can quite ever feel them exactly like that but I think what he has done is he's stepped into them comfortably and he's, he's, he's filling them perfectly as a man and I think um, he deserves a massive pat on the back for that. It's probably appropriate after everything that happened this year that these two sides ended the year. Happy New Year, boss. Yeah, happy New Thank, New year, you. Thank you. Cheers. Very much.